smells like hairspray, but nothing you can't handle. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Jimmy McPherson, and thank you for coming back to a, another video. Can you guys believe I haven't wore under eye patches in like a very long time? I feel like I started off every video wearing my under eye patches and I think I just used them all and just forgot to buy some new ones. So, remind me in the comments to get some under eye patches because I'm probably gonna forget. But you already know, your girl has her iced coffee, so. Nonetheless, I'm in a great mood and let's just play in some makeup. I just love makeup, so. Um, enough of me rambling about nothing. Let's just jump right into today's video. Because it is basically fall time, I'm just feeling like a very chocolate eye look with like a black smoky liner. I don't know. I just want to try something different. And we already know when I try to do a different eye look, y'all, we already know it somehow, some way ends up being the same eye look I always do. So if it does get to that point, thank you for watching the process. Um, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I wanted to talk about this lip gloss that I get a lot of compliments on and even from men. So I don't always wear a full face of makeup. Sometimes I will leave the house with just like foundation and some lip gloss. But y'all, my go-to lip gloss right now and I have it on in today's video. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my God. This Lancome Juicy Tube, you guys, has been my go to like everyday lip gloss. When I say I'm obsessed, I'm like literally obsessed. It's like a pink, it's not like a bright pink. I feel like it's like a more of like a nude pink. And I just think it looks so pretty on the lips and it gives your lips like a really good lip tint. So if you're one of those girls that can't get your hands on the Dior lip gloss, I mean, no shade notes here. Try to get your hands on this Lancome Juicy Tube. To prime my eyelids, I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place Eye Prep and Eye Prime, and I'm gonna go in with the shades one and two. And I'm actually going to mix these two on the back of my hands. Is it necessary to use both? No, but um, I just hardly ever use the white shade by itself. So I figure why not just go in and mix the two just so like my colors on my eyelids can really pop. Now, if you can get your hands on the Juvia's Place Eye Prep and Eye Primer, I would highly recommend just use a lighter concealer, set it with some translucent powder and you're good to go. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this Morphe palette and these shades are so freaking gorgeous, super neutral, right up my alley, girl. So for my first shade, I'm gonna pick up Atomic Umber the way that the lighting is playing me is actually embarrassing, you guys. And I'm so sorry. I'm like literally in front of a, um, I'm literally in front of a window and I didn't think the lighting was going to be doing this. So hopefully it's not too distracting for you guys. I can say with the Juvia's Place Eye Prep and Eye Primer, you do not have to set it with translucent powder. Like that's a good thing. I do feel like sometimes when I just use concealer and I set it with translucent powder, I do feel like my eyeshadow looks a little chalky and I don't like that. So again, for the Juvia's Place Eye Prep and Eye Prime, you do not have to set it with translucent powder simply because it's used for your eyes. You don't have to set it with anything. Now again, if you want to, you can, but your eyeshadow just might come out looking a little chalky. I'm gonna now go in with Night Spill. Lightly gonna put this on my brush and only focus this on the outer part of my eye and only in my crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with Dust Dipped and I'm literally just going to blend out the edges because as you can see, it looks harsh. It, it looks harsh, girl. So anytime your eyeshadow looks harsh, make sure you go in and take a lighter shade or a muted shade eyeshadow and just smoke it out. So I'm just gonna place this color right on top and just blend everything right on out. 
I'm gonna go in with that same GVS Place primer. I'm going to cut my crease. And honestly, it is mandatory for me to cut my crease simply because I have hooded eyes and I like for my eyeshadows to like really show and pop. So one thing about it, babes, I'm going to always cut my crease. Okay, always. Boom, there she go. The shades I'm going to use for my cut crease, I'm going to just mix these two shades right here together. As you can see, you can see where my eyeshadow starts and ends, and I don't like that. I just want everything to blend. So I'm going to take the same colors that I used on my crease just to blend out the shadow on my eye. You really just want everything to look seamlessly. I'm going to do the other eye off camera, and I will be right back. I just finished the other eye off camera. I did go in with some black liquid liner and I smoked it out with brown and I put a little bit of black and just smoked it out. I think it looks really pretty. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this eye using my NYX waterproof black liquid liner. If you're not careful, it is really easy to go overboard with your liquid liner. So please make sure you're taking your time when you apply liquid liner. And y'all see I'm like all <laughs> up close. Look at my liner, I'm gonna use the same dark brown shade that I used in my crease or the outer part of my crease. And I'm just gonna place this shade literally right on top of that black liquid liner. I'm gonna pick up some black shadow and put that on top of that brown. Now to finally complete the eyes, I'm gonna go on with some mascara. I'm gonna use this YSL mascara. This has been my favorite. Now it's time to jump into my favorite part, which is the base makeup. Y'all, it's one thing to do your eyeshadow, but when it comes to this base, I feel like that's when everything literally comes into place. And I should put up a literally counter because I feel like I say literally so many times, I actually need to expand my vocabulary. But yes, so I wanna share with you guys what I like to do to first prep my face. Moisturizer, I'm gonna use my Pond's moisturizer. I like to use this one in particular simply because I have dark spots and it works really great if you have dark spots that you're trying to lighten up or get rid of. Because I don't have any under eye patches, I still want my under eye patches to feel hydrated simply because I use a lot of powders and I use quite a few concealers. So I like for my under eyes just to feel moisturized. I'm gonna go on with this Kills Creamy Under Eye Treatment. And I'm only gonna put a small, like, pea size amount under my eyes. And already my under eyes just feel so hydrated. And if you guys have any recommendations on, like, some under eye creams or under eye pins that you recommend, let me know down in the comments down below because I, like I said, I typically use under eye patches, but I do want to start using like different creams to see like what's out there because this is good but i'm always in the mood to try something new <laughs> ladies make sure you're wearing your sunscreen okay if you're not shame on you i'm gonna use my super group sunscreen that's mattifying typically i would use my hydrating one but i feel like it's been making my face look super oily lately so i'm not gonna use that one today i'm gonna use my mattifying one and hopefully she shouldn't do us dirty but again always make sure you are wearing your sunscreen i'm gonna first go in with my one size all sucker primer 
And I already know you guys hear me talk about this all the time in my videos since I've gotten this product, but when I tell you this primer is so freaking good, it is so good. You only need a pea size amount. And I only focus this on my nose because my nose just gets oily, girl. I don't, I don't know what be going on, but definitely my nose. And then I'm gonna put it on my smile lines. For my second primer, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with 4% niacinamide. And I'm going to put this everywhere I did not put the one size. So, right here, my chin, this side of my face. And I'm gonna let all of this sit for at least three to five minutes. And you want the one size oil sucker primer to leave a white cast, it's perfectly normal. And you don't wanna make any facial expressions when you apply it. So I'm gonna let my primer sit. All right, now as you can see, there is a white cast. Again, you guys, it's perfectly normal, okay? Now it's time for foundation, girl. Do you need two foundations? Absolutely not. But guess what? I'm gonna wear two foundations simply because I want to. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna mix my NARS Soft Matte and my Maybelline Superstay together. Like I said, this part is not necessary, you guys. I just really like the look that it gives. So that's why I mix two. And I just like a super duper full coverage foundation look. So I'm just gonna mix those two shades on the back of my hand. So. I'm gonna do one side to show you guys like the coverage. So as you can see, I do have quite a few dark spots on this side. Um, this side isn't as bad. So I like to just go in and paint this on my face first. And when I say paint, I literally mean paint, paint it on my face. Go in with a foundation brush this is actually my favorite foundation brush by the way this is the it cosmetics foundation brush and just blend out my foundation making sure i bring it down my neck and if i see anything that's peeking through i will just go in and add a little more foundation and then just blend it out like so so as you can see, this is one side with the foundation and this is the other side without foundation and this is what it's giving. Now it's time for concealer. I personally like to use two concealers. Sometimes I will use three, I know, but I just feel like what is the point of having makeup if you're not gonna put that on? Be for real, okay, be for real. For my first concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. I'm gonna put this on my chin. Bridge of the nose, under the eye. I'm also gonna snatch this today. So we're gonna just put a little bit on edges of our eyes. For my nose contour, I'm gonna pick up this shade right here and I'm going to place this cream shade the beginning of my brow and then down I've been seeing the girlies use like little small little powder puffs to blend out their um, concealer so I'm gonna try that today and you guys look at this little powder puff that I have it's by beauty creations and it's so freaking tiny so let's pray that this works so I'm just gonna put it on my hand and I guess just blend it out okay so just by doing this right, I can already tell it's gonna give you a lot of coverage. Just by how I'm pressing it in and the product really isn't moving like that, 
I can tell that using a little beauty sponge will definitely give you a full coverage look. Not saying that the brush doesn't, but I do like how this just blends. Wow, okay. I might have to always use this, wow. So I'm now just gonna go in with my beauty sponge and just like press everything out and make sure it's blended out before I go on with my lighter concealer. I actually really freaking love how that little powder puff blended out my concealer. And that was my first time using that. Like, that's actually insane. Okay, so where are we at now with it? Okay, I'm going to now blend out my nose contour. But I now go in with my Huda Beauty Concealer. I really like the fact that this concealer is super full coverage. Um, and I think it's the perfect like shade for a bright under eye look. So I'm just gonna apply that and only gonna focus it in the corners of my eye. And I do wanna pick up a little bit of this lighter concealer right here. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but this is the Makeup Essentials palette. I'm gonna apply this lighter shade right underneath the Huda Beauty. And I am gonna let this concealer sit just for a little bit. I'm gonna now go in with my One Size Translucent Setting Powder. To set my nose contour and to contour my face, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Bronzer. And then just taking that One Size Powder to clean up my nose. going to contour my face I'm going to use just a little bit of my Sephora micro smooth powder For blush, I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Blush Duo. I'm gonna focus this blush right on like the high points of my face. And of course my nose. Now of course, because I have oily skin, I use a lot, a lot, a lot of powders. My face is gonna look powdery. Your face is gonna look powdery if you use a lot of powders like myself. So to fix that, I'm gonna go on with my Makeup Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. And babes, I don't know what's in this bottle, y'all, but this, when I spray this, it literally just locks everything into place. Please get this. I talk about this all the time in every single video. I always use this product, you guys. Please make sure you check this out. It is available at Ulta for $15. All right, so I'm gonna let this spray settle into my skin and I will be right back. All right, so to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna use this Essence Gel Liner and I'm going to apply this under my lash line and then I'm gonna smoke it out. So I'm gonna apply this right under my lash line. And then the same shadows that I use on my crease, on my eyes, I'm gonna use that to smoke it out. I'm gonna go in with my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. Now I'm going to apply my eyelashes. You already know the drill. Hair glue is eyelash glue. I don't care what you say. I'm gonna put on my favorite lashes, which are the Eye Envy. Like the, these are like the only lashes that I swear by and that I always use. 
I really want to try some more lashes. Um, if you guys are into like wispy lashes or know a good wish, wispy lash brand, let me know because I just really like wispy lashes that are like separated. I don't like lashes that are like super thick. So let me know in the comments. So now that our lashes are all on, we're going to do our lip combo, which is my, one of my favorite parts. I just really take pride in my lip combo. And I just wish one day, like, I really hope that I get to work with a brand and have, like, my own, like, lip combo collection. Because you can just never have too many lip combos. So, for today's lip combo, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil Extreme. Going in with my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Yes Honey. I literally wear this lip color every day. And this lipstick is just so good. And I really like the fact that if you don't want to add a gloss to this, you don't have to. And it looks really good without a gloss. Why did I forget to show you guys what I've been using to set my face? I normally never use anything to set my face just going about my day. But when I use this one product, my face is in place all day long. The one size setting spray, you guys, mm, too good. Smells like hairspray, but nothing you can't handle. All right, you guys, this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.